they're in the timber. I don't know why I'm whispering now because I just <laughs> scared that guy away or a couple of them. same area that I was in yesterday and uh, I don't know they kind of go that way because that's the direction the wind's coming from but I've been coming up a pretty kind of crackly noisy part of the forest it's but there's a lot of birds and they're eating uh, these berries up on the trees and they drop some of them and they hit the ground. But it's great to be out here, man. It's really great. I love the, the sounds and just everything. It's really neat. I don't know why I'm whispering now because I just <laughs> scared that guy away or a couple of them. <sighs> Come Raven. like it's a game of cat and mouse anyway I'm, I'm having a lot of fun it's uh it's it's pretty neat it's it's so hard to be quiet in this stuff it's just like i'm kind of walking through leaf litter at the moment and i got no choice so but it's great um security for the deer if they're bedded down in and amongst this stuff um, they usually go in some tangles and stuff, so you can't really see them, but they can hear you coming, and then they're just like, yeah, I'm out, boom. But they can, uh, they can go to sleep like that, and, uh, it's one way that they can kind of get a good bit of rest in and stuff. Yeah, imagine living full-time in this.
turned it off. I felt pretty close, so. I'm taking a break. It feels like the forest has changed a bit. The wind's died right off, so it's really calm. And you know, on this side of the forest that I'm in, there's not as much activity like birds and squirrels and stuff. And just conifers and stuff mostly. Anyway, I know the deer are this way. There's a game trail, fresh tracks. But I'm reluctant to go that way. Because I'm, well, it didn't work out for me up there. I'm, I don't want to push these guys. I'm just bound to screw it up. At least I think so anyway. Might have already screwed it up, I don't know. That was a lot of work getting up into this spot. I'm sort of thinking about heading back. Because mm. I saw a bunch of deer this morning and thinking, well, you never know. close to the van. Whereas here I'm about two and a half hours from the van. Basically I just hiked out the whole time. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, it was not as exciting as yesterday, but it's been kind of a quiet couple days actually. I mean, I've seen deer, but it wasn't like, there wasn't any super, super exciting moments. That, that little doe yesterday was pretty cool, but I suppose I could have stayed up in that particular spot until sundown and there might have been an opportunity because I was pretty sure there was deer over in that other area. And like that little one that came out yesterday, it's possible that something could have come out this time. But I was feeling really like tired. And um, I thought about, you know, the hike back and I, and I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna kind of make my way back and just call it a day. So today was a lot of exercise um, and, you know, not a whole, you know, I mean, there wasn't any sort of like sit down, say, stay still kind of thing. And I was sort of hoping to do that at the end of today, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't sort of set myself up for that. 
really well. I thought I had more time and I, I was, I was kind of thinking, actually I didn't really have too much plan. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this again tomorrow. I guess I'll kind of have to see how I feel in the morning. And the wind is going to be a big factor tomorrow. So as uh, I noticed tonight, it actually shifted directions and it started going in the direction that um, was not favorable for me anyway. So uh, I'll have to sort of see. If it's, if it's blowing into that area, then I'm just, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to... I don't know. Go rest. Um, yeah, not very far from Victoria, so I'd probably go in and see my cousin and uh, hang out with him for a little while and maybe think about coming out here again. Um, I don't know. It, I haven't done a lot of hunting this year, and I'm sort of thinking like, you know, it's it's good, but I'm not seeing it as as much activity as I as I'd expect to see in this area. And most of the deer that I'm finding are on the edge of this piece of property that I can actually hunt on. Um, it borders up against some private property and uh, once I get kind of close to that, I can kind of see like there there's more deer sign, like it's more heavily noticed or like there's more of it around. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're just, they're over there in that private property where they haven't been disturbed. But this piece of crown land that I'm on is, I'm um, sure it's being worked over a fair bit. So um, there's probably a couple little pockets here and there that maybe I haven't even checked out yet. But uh, it's, yeah, it's a, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work walking around and sometimes it's a good idea to give a place like that a break. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this year if anything's gonna happen. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna, you know Get lucky and, and harvest a deer that that one buck would have been great uh, He was he was a nice looking deer, but uh, yeah, it was just uh, I sat there And I waited and I waited and uh, it wasn't a good shot. There was like there was a branch and I um there's a tree branch and stuff in the way and, and I was thinking about the trajectory of the arrow. I'm like, yeah, that's no good. And I ended up waiting and the buck eventually um, repositioned and I probably should have had a little bit more patience, but he exposed himself a beautiful broadside shot. And so I repositioned myself to take aim and have a nice clear shot at him. And uh, just as I did that, he, I think he heard the string go boing and he slouched into his feet to jump away. And as he did that, the arrow went right over top of him, but it basically went straight into a tree right behind him. And uh, no blood, it's just, that's what it was. So, um, and he took off and then, um, yeah, so then I rattled like, ratcheted up another arrow uh, like in the crossbow and as I was going click 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 on that thing uh, these other deer stood up and then they um, they took off um, so anyway yeah um, this this crossbow it's got a interesting way of loading it up with that whole ratchet system uh, let me know. I might go over it a little bit more detail um, with you guys. I can go over my hunting gear and that kind of stuff. I, I kind of feel like in doing all of this, I'm really focused on just what I'm doing out there and I'm hunting. And I'm thinking it's probably not, I don't know, like I, I don't need to show you me hunting per se. Um, and it's kind of tricky because trying to not have any extra movement I'm trying to be really quiet and so managing a camera alongside of just trying to be super still all the time and moving very very slowly it doesn't give me a whole lot of opportunities to film the same way that I would if I'm doing it doing something else um, but I can do like tutorial stuff maybe like just sort of like this is sort of like how I do it what I do that kind of thing so but, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I'd say I'm a pretty good hunter, but I just, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been lucky in a while. 
and lucky luck isn't the thing like you know I'm, I'm applying my skills and, and they're they're good but um, yeah I just I think this particular area has just been worked over a little bit and it's, uh, it's a little bit trickier um, once the deer um, get wind that hunters are in the area they change their behavior um, quite a bit and uh, becomes much much more difficult to uh, be successful in that scenario but that might be the case here anyway I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rest for the night and we'll see you in a sec